The epitome of excellence is predicated on collaboration, innovation, and creation. This afternoon, I am most honored to present the collective effort of Jamaica, Swaliga, and Mexico in conceptualizing and implementing this STEM-based project under the theme, Bridging the Gap. The facets of the project were anchored by a postmodern outlook to STEM education, bridging the gap in gender disparity, transitioning from primary to secondary schools, along with the integration of the creative arts in the delivery of the theoretical content. In short, the project seeks to cater to the learning deficiencies in STEM teaching and learning, both at the primary and the secondary levels. The team comprises Dr. Joseph Thomas, Bagia Maladi, Janelle Malcolm, Karian Reed Buckner, Marsha Allen Russell, Eric Uesco, Roxana Chichino, Lemon Brown, and yours truly, Amorcard Brown. Please enjoy the lineup of our presentation. Knowing your students will actually help you to identify multiple access points to the curriculum to increase engagement and success. Hello, educators. I'm sure that you and I both will agree that knowing your students as learners is very, very important. And I'm sure you know that we cannot ignore a student's unique learning style. Isn't this true? especially if your students are struggling with schoolwork. Each class brings a new group of students and learning about your students is a prerequisite for you to create a learning profile. Students become responsible learners if we as good teachers accept our responsibility for their learning. Differentiated instruction addresses students' interests, deficiencies, and misconceptions and it is very important for us to help our students to meet their own responsibilities to learn. Students influence how we teach. How we respond to our students in turn influences how they learn. Good teaching requires that we bridge the gaps that may impede effective communication and thereby hinder student learning. You can foster inclusion in the classroom early in the term through how you engage your students, starting with your use of the space. Try varying activities, whether it's a group, paired or individual work, because however you arrange your students in different formations, you are still increasing their engagement with each other. Noise can result from poor classroom management techniques. And so teachers, we need to learn how to review some of our for some of our strategies. Students perform better when their teaching is matched to their preferred learning style. A learner profile will help you to build unique experiences for all your students. So colleagues, a learner profile builds relationships to foster community building for our students to have an equal access in the learning process and to become critical thinkers. A learner profile eliminates dead time, okay? And it also helps you to tap into the various learning styles and multiple intelligences to engage all the learners. Thank you, educators. Thank you for joining us today. Good afternoon, everyone. This is the questionnaire for primary school learner profile. It has been adapted from the book, The Intelligence Reframe, multiple intelligence for the 21st century written by Howard Garner. We want to give credit to the education officers in Jamaica who provide us with this significant information to make this Google form questionnaire. First, in section one, we collect the student's email. Afterwards, in section two, their name, gender, and grade. And in section three, we have eight questions. Each one corresponds to a type of intelligence or learning style. To find out the learner's profile of our student, which lead us to an effective planning. 
For each question, they must choose the activities that they feel willing or favorably disposed to. They can pick as many as they like. At the end, the style with more picks is the learner style profile. And of course, we can have mixed learner styles profiles. Here, we have a list of these intelligence, but let's go through them by reviewing the questions. Question number one. What do you like to do? Write a letter, write a report, tell a story, write an essay, write in your homework journal. I learn better when someone reads to me than reading on my own. This is the linguistic intelligence where people feel comfortable with words. It's the verbal learning style. Now, question two is about the logical mathematical intelligence. In this mathematical profile, students are more inclined to numbers and reasoning. The question is, what would you do to try and answer a question? Draw a graph, design a puzzle, use numbers in math class, count objects, solve puzzles. I underline the main points. Question number three, what would you use to make something attractive? Draw a picture, paint something, make a poster, take photographs, make a map. I remember something better if I write it down. This is the visual profile. It's the spatial intelligence that works with pictures and charts. Question four, if given a choice, what activities would you prefer to do? Act in a play, do an experiment, play a sport, dance, make a model, for example, a car. I learn better through trial and error than following given steps. This is the kinesthetic profile, where people is willing to use their body. This is the bodily kinesthetic intelligence. Question five. If you love music, what would you prefer to do? Listen to music, write a song, sing, play an instrument, hum. I prefer to turn in a videotape or give an oral report instead of writing something. This one obviously refer to the musical intelligence. It's the musical profile. Number six, how do you like to interact? Talk to people, organize an event, work in a group or team, have people to work together, do voluntary work. Studying at a desk is not for me. I prefer to move around. This is the interpersonal intelligence meaning that people have an affinity to interact with other people. Number seven, if you were asked to record what you do in a daily life, how would you do it? Think about your life, keep a diary, think about what happened that day, set goals for yourself, think about your opinions. I talk to myself to solve a problem. This is the intrapersonal intelligence. People are more inclined to be on their own for learning. And the last question, number eight. What would you do to get comfortable in a new environment? Make a prediction, solve a problem, collect objects, for example, stamps, organize things in a certain way, figure out how something works. I do not become easily lost in strange surroundings. This is the naturalistic profile. This kind of people adapt to change easily. All right, so here we're looking at a Google form designed to capture the learning styles of our learners at the secondary level. Okay, now the first question has a series of options that they can pick based on, you know, what their preferences are, etc. And this particular question is designed to capture whether or not the person is a verbal or linguistic learner. The second one that states, oh, you enjoy doodling, etc. We're looking at whether or not the person is a, a visual learner. You know, if they're taking the test, they can actually see the textbook while they're taking the test and the textbook is not there where they can see where the answer is. 
and then the next question where you have to categorize you need some sort of order some sort of pattern in order for you to really assess something these people also like to play strategic games like chess etc these are your logical learners and then this person doesn't really spend much time in terms of writing out the information but they are very keen on listening to whatever is said okay so writing it tends to be messy but the the listening they remember every bit of what was said and those are your auditory learners and then of course these guys like to do stuff instead of having it done for them or having them being told about it or seeing it done they need to do it for themselves so we have our kinesthetic learner and then lastly we have another category subcategory of auditory learners which are your musical learners where everything has to have a rhyme or a rhythm okay um they listen to certain things like the chirping of birds early in the morning the humming that sort of thing helps them to remember and retain information and so here we see that those are the types of learners captured by this particular google form now let's go off into the responses so this was actually pilot tested on a group of students at the immaculate conception high school that were attending summer school these are grade seven students and the teacher was mrs bagdia miladi and if we look at the responses we can see where everybody kind of shares some of the different preferences in the different categories so some people a lot of people are fascinated with words you know etc um some enjoy doodling some like categorizing things etc so when you look generally everybody has a little bit of each learning style of each preference so how do we assess then the learning style of a particular individual so we have to go here to the individual responses and here we can see we're going to be looking for which question this person actually ticked or selected most of the options that are there so for this young lady she selected four five six seven out of a possible 11 options okay the next one she also chose you know approximately 50 percent of the options that were there then we look here wow she chose everything except one then we look here we say okay boy less than 50 percent not really her tea her cup of tea a little bit more than 50 all right a little bit more than 50 so what you have to look at is the percentage of responses that the person has selected and then you whichever question has the highest percentage of responses then that is their dominant learning style so this child's dominant learning style is logical so she is a logical learner so you're gonna give her patterns you're gonna categorize and classify the information for her all right and you have to show the connections between this that that you can't give her a lot of disjointed points in the classroom and so knowing the individual's learning styles will help you to create that differentiated lesson where you can differentiate the content and eventually capture everybody or play to everybody's strengths. Hello everyone. Another aspect of the Jamaica Solega Mexico logic model included this objective to train teachers to use the digital arts to develop lessons which promote skills the students need to transition into stream careers our stream lesson plan was written on a template developed by dr padu 
from the George Mason University in the United States of America. This lesson plan was implemented by myself and other members of a team. It was later modified by the Jamaica Solega Mexico team. Though this lesson plan was written for grade 4 students, the lesson plan framework may be used across all levels of the education system, thus another way of bridging the gap. Here are the main parts of the lesson plan framework. The topic for the lesson plan was physical features of our region and the framework includes the name and contact information of the teachers. The subject area and learner profile is also a part of the lesson plan framework. Grade level, duration, and a short description of what the lesson will be about is there. The objectives of the lesson would also be presented. We have the cognitive level, the psychomotor, and the affective objectives. Now for the stream foundation, how the different levels or aspects of stream would come out for science. Students would classify landforms as highlands or lowlands on near pod. For technology, they would use ICT tools to research definitions for concepts given. For reading, the students would read up on various activities that take place on physical features. For engineering, the students created 3D models of various physical features. For arts, they drew pictures of various physical features to illustrate their definitions. They also mixed colors into different shades in order to paint their models. For mathematics, they measured the correct amount of glue that would be used to make their papier-mâché. They also learned about map scales and they create tables to show highest peak population of various sections. Now these are some other aspects of the lesson plan framework that I won't into but just to expose you to what they would look like this lesson plan also used the 5e model engage explore explain elaborate and evaluation These are also other aspects of the framework of the temp. Thank you everyone and continue to tune in to the other presentations from my team. Thank you. Olay. Hey, I'm a G, huh? We gonna move through these landforms. Walk with me, look. Uh huh. Volcano ain't hot enough. Still ain't seen that river wide enough. Either way it goes, you can see the water flow. Only thing you gotta know is ain't no stopping us. Volcano ain't hot enough. Still ain't seen that river wide enough. Either way it goes, you can see the water flow. Only thing you gotta know is ain't no stopping us. Yeah, I said we got the power in us. Yeah. Wind at my back, I'm downhill sprinting. And I ain't stopping for a mountain or a river. Weathering these rocks over time, I deliver. Aye, aye. Way we move the mind, make the opposition quiver. So sublime, big moves, earthquakes, that's groundbreaking. Said we make big moves, that's denudation. Uh -huh. Tell them great things take time and patience. And we don't even do it for congratulations. Either way, I heat it up till evaporation. Just so you can use your imagination. Mm. 
volcano way hot enough Still ain't seen that river wide enough Either way it goes, you can see the water flow Only thing you gotta know is ain't no stopping us Volcano ain't hot enough Still ain't seen that river wide enough Either way it goes, you can see the water flow Only thing you gotta know is ain't no stopping us My name is Joseph Thomas, the director of the Master Teacher Unit in the Ministry of Education in Jamaica. In conclusion, this team has worked towards creating the learner profile to meet the needs of the different learning styles. Understanding the learner is one of the six guiding principles stipulated in the teacher standards in Jamaica. Knowing your student is very critical for a teacher in creating a meaningful learning experience for the students in various teach modalities. This learner profile has helped us to design STEM lesson plans to bridge the gap between the primary and the secondary schools and to empower the teachers to enhance their pedagogical practices. Through this collaboration, the Jamaican team members had the privilege to learn from the educators from US and Mexico. I want to express our sincere thanks to OAS ITEN for this opportunity and specifically to Ms. Rebecca Vieira and Ms. Alison Owen for their continuous guidance and support that we enjoyed from the beginning of the project. Thanks to all.